go through this. As I said, we have to, we got to put evil away from us. We've got to be aware of those that are worshiping demons and so forth. That's happening fluently in the world today. Second Chronicles, 11th chapter. Look at Second Chronicles 11, 13. And the priests and the Levites that were in all Israel resorted to him out of all their coats. For the Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and Jerusalem. For Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Most High. So the priests of the Levites, Jeroboam, is after the kingdom was split. Our kingdom was split after Solomon did what he did and married these strange wives. And made temples to them, idols to them, and went in there and worshiped them. And so Jeroboam was an Ephraimite who was over the northern tribes, the nine tribes. The Levites were the priests that administrated the law of the Most High amongst the tribes. And this is what happened. Second, as, excuse me, Second Corinthians, no, Second Chronicles, so like it, 11 and 13, and the priests and the Levites that were in all Israel, that's northern Israel, resorted to him out of all their coats. But the Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and Jerusalem. They came from northern Israel down to southern Israel to Judah, which is the southern Israel. You know, the kingdom was split. You had Judah and you had Israel on the top, north. You had Judah on the south came to Judah and Jerusalem. For Jeroboam, who was over the nine tribes, and Ephraimite, and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Most High. This is what he did. And he ordained him priests for the high places, and for the devils, and for the calves which he had made. See? And after them, out of all the tribes of Israel, such as set their hearts to seek the most high power of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice unto the most high power of their fathers. See? So all of them didn't follow Jeroboam. Some went down to Jerusalem. Other nine tribes went down, it was amongst us in Judah to worship the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Rehoboam the son of Solomon strong three years. For three years they walked in the way of David and Solomon. See? See how Israel started worshiping demons so when they, the most high had Solomon, that's all come and take them into captivity. Because they wash virtue and devil. You just see it. Set up high places for the devils. High places for the devils. That's what our people did. The nine tribes, but all of them didn't. Some came down and still worshiped the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in Judah. See? Psalms 106, get right to the point. A lot of this you, you should, should know, but we gotta, we gotta just deal with it. Psalms 106 and 37. 
Yeah, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. See? That's what Israel did. Sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. That's why they were still doing it when they was over here. Sacrificing their sons and daughters on them mounds and the pyramids that they built over here. Doing the same thing. That's when you look at 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. They call themselves Gentiles. That's what it says. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils. Why? We read it. We read about it in 2 Chronicles. See? Gentiles, they call themselves Gentiles, don't they? <laughs> they call themselves Gentiles. And these other nations, they definitely sacrifice the devils. And the Israelites that call themselves Gentiles and follow the way of the heathen, they sacrifice the devils too. That's why you look what it said. Second Chronicles 11 and 15. And he ordained him priests for the high places. Got rid of the Levites. They had to come out to Jerusalem. He ordained him priests for the high places. Remember we read in Ephesians. Sixth chapter. Hope y'all ain't forgot. Remember we read up in Ephesians sixth chapter. In verse 12. For we wrestle not with flesh and blood, against flesh and blood. That's a body. That's a mortal body. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, where? In high places. See? That's why he told us to put on the whole armor, protection of the most high. But what did Jeroboam do? In 2 Chronicles 11 and 15, and he ordained him priests for the high places and for the devils, see, and for the calves which he had made. See? So when you look at Psalms 106. Yeah, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. See? Because the Gentiles sacrifice the devils and not to the Most High. He said, I would not just have fellowship with devils. You cannot drink of the cup of the Most High and the cup of devils. First Corinthians 10. No, First Timothy 4. Get that. First Timothy's four. First Timothy's four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times. Some shall fall or depart from the faith. And we in the last days. He's speaking his president in the latter times, the last days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. See that? These people can be very seducing. That's why my circumcision told us. He told us, but a lot of y'all not saying it because you're not in the spirit. But you think you're in the spirit, but you're not in the spirit because you just still have a worldly type of mindset where you can't really see what you need to see. That's why I say, I told you before it happened. That's why he told us in, in Matthew 24. 24. See, for there shall arise false masyakim. 
they go be false and false prophets and shall sow great signs and wonders. You can say, wow, that brother is deep. That brother, ooh, look at all the signs and wonders that he's showing. Great signs and wonders. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. See? If it were possible, they're going to deceive the very elect. Don't let it be possible with you. That's what it's saying. First Timothy 4 and 1, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Remember, Satan has appeared as an angel of what? Light. No matter his ministers also appeared as an angel of light. They're going to be doing great signs and wonders that if it were possible, might fool the very elect. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. See? Revelation 13. Revelation 13, chapter. Fourth verse. See, people don't recognize this. They don't realize this is what's going on. Revelation 13 and 4. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? America. The Edomite nation. They worship the dragon, Satan, which gave power unto the beast. The beast is America. The Edomite nation saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is like unto America? To the Edomite nation. Remember, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the end of that father. Who is able to make war with him? Hmm? Still going to be asking. Just, we forbidden to do this. It's Zechariah. 13 and 2. Zechariah. I'll start at verse 1. But we're going to concentrate on verse 2. In that day, there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. Clean us up. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Most High Power of hosts, Power of Armies, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. I'll get rid of that. See? It's only a certain amount of time. Go to uh, 1 Samuel 16. 1 Samuel I'll show you how dealing with Saul, our first king. 1 Samuel 16. First Samuel 16 and 14. But the spirit of the Most High departed from Saul, that's our first king, and an evil spirit from the Most High troubled him. Reach you again. But the spirit of the Most High departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Most High. Not from Satan, but from the Most High, troubled him. This evil spirit that came from the Most High troubled him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from the Most High troubled thee. See, we knew this.
the Spirit of the Most High had departed from Saul. And an evil spirit from the Most High troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from the Most High troubled thee. That you know these evil spirits, they come from the Most High. They come from the Most High. So see, if you don't know him as such, then you really don't know him. We know the most, most people don't know the most high. They think the most high is all love. No. He is love. He's not all love. Because you just heard what was written. Look, 2 Chronicles 18 and 18. How can he love the wickedness that's going on in this world right now? Listen, 2 Chronicles 18 and 18. Again he said, therefore hear the word of the Most High. I saw the Most High sitting upon his throne. He had a visit of the Most High sitting on his throne. And all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. So the Most High got a right hand and he had a left. Now we know Mashiach Dawashai is on the right hand of the Most High. So who's on the left hand? He say he create evil. He used Satan in the evil spirits to create evil. Once again, 2 Chronicles 18 and 18, again he said, Therefore hear the word of the Most High. I saw the Most High sitting upon his throne. And all the hosts, that's the army of heaven, which is the angels, standing on his right hand. So we have right hand angels and on his left, and on his left hand. And the Most High said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall or die or be killed at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying after this matter, and another saying after that matter. Then there came, one, one angel came up and said out of this matter, another one came and said out of that matter. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Most High and said, I will entice him. And the Most High said unto him, where will, how are you going to do it? The spirit came up and said, I'm going to entice him. And he asked, him, how are you going to do it? And he said, I will go out and I will be, and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So you're looking at this. But if you can't see it spiritually, when you look at it, you have a lot of men. Look at all these men in these churches that follow in the same doctrine from that lying spirit. Remember, remember I read to you in uh, Revelation 12 and 9 how the devil and Satan deceived the whole world? in these different religions and so forth. Deceiving the whole world. So he said, I'm gonna go down to the earth and I'm gonna entice him. And most I said, how are you gonna do it? Where will? Verse 21, and he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth. That means all of, of all his prophets, I mean all his prophets gonna tell this lie to King Ahab, because the Most High wanted to kill him. And the Most High said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Now therefore, behold, the Most High have put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets, and the Most High have spoken evil against thee. Come on now. 